Up until recently, CATL, or CATL, was the only other Chinese battery supplier to provide batteries to Tesla. Uh, until the second quarter of this year, when we found that BYD actually now sell batteries to Tesla. Some recent data came to the surface uh, showing just how much faster they are charging. Because everybody, I've probably mentioned this, Tesla, uh, BYD, very, very good at charging. And they've got a really good charge curve. It's kind of not so much a charge curve, really. Thank you for joining me. It's really nice to see so many people subscribing to the channel and watching the videos. I'm Ben Alexander, and I talk about the latest EV news around the world. And I make videos every single day, so stick around until the end and let me know your comments and thoughts on it. Thanks for joining me. It's really nice to see so many people subscribing to the channel. I'm Ben Alexander, and I talk about the latest EV news around the world, and I make videos every single day, so please stick around until the end and then let me know your thoughts on it in the comments. Remember to click subscribe for me too, because this really helps the channel grow. And I recently saw that about 85% of you aren't subscribed. Um, so remember to press the notification bell as well next to subscribe so that YouTube knows to show you my videos when I do post my videos. A lot of people still think that Tesla produce all of their own batteries, which, you know, it's always in the news. They have the Gigafactory and they have massive batteries and they produce uh, bonkers amounts of batteries. I've forgotten the number, how many batteries or how much energy storage they produce, but it is an awful lot. Um, it hasn't been the case, actually, since January 2022. They first started getting uh, batteries from other places, which is fine. There are other really good, reputable companies that are really big, and they're ex they are expanding very quickly. So CATL, Cattle, uh, I've already been lectured in the comments once about calling CATL Cattle, duly noted, um, started to supply lithium-ion batteries to Tesla from January 2022 to December 2025. That's the contract. According to a notice released by Cattle, or CATL, uh, now it's BYD as well, and they make fantastic batteries at BYD uh, with the reputation, the best reputation really, for safety out of any company that I'm aware of for producing batteries. Um, and that's a big claim, I think. Tesla sell a lot of vehicles with LFP chemistry in, and a lot of them now will be coming from BYD. Uh, Tesla are actually using the blade cells, not just the chemistry. Uh, so that's the full metal blades with the battery chemistry inside, which is a big deal. The big metal casing on the outside does actually make the batteries a fair bit safer and stronger. So that's really important. And that's a part of the, the appeal, I think, for using the blade batteries. Uh, here's a picture of the charge curves, so-called charge curves, um, from a Model Y with the blade batteries and not with the blade batteries. It's much better for the BYD battery. And um, this ties in with what BYD have actually said in the past about their batteries having a flat charging curve, which technically, as you know, most of you will know, you can't have a flat charge curve. But BYD, what they do is they allow it to charge in so many amps until like 60%. So it's just like a flat curve, flat line, and then it just steps down. It's like more of a step than a curve. Um, so, for example, they charge very, very fast, sometimes faster than what is claimed. Uh, BYD um, claim like the Atto 3 will charge at 80, but it actually charges at 88, typically. Uh, and then it uh, drops down to a slightly slower speed after 60% or so, which I think is fantastic. Um, having a good charge curve um, is equally, if not more important, I think, than having one small figure in kilowatts, I think. So it's kind of like horsepower on a car sometimes. Uh, some cars have a peak horsepower rating that's a lot, but it is right at the end when you've revved up the engine right a lot, you know, right up there. So you kind of want a really up and, you know, sort of well-shaped curve. Both the Blade battery and Cattle's Kirin battery are a lithium iron phosphate uh, LFP uh, battery. And the BYD battery charges faster for the whole time it's on charge, from dead to full. The whole time, it's crazy. Um, so there were some false reports, actually, that came out of thin air in March, saying that the, the partnership had already ended. It's only just begun. Uh, but Elon Musk tweeted and said it was false, and that the relationship is positive. 
which I thought was a crappy dad joke, but it isn't. He actually just said that. I think the main reason for their partnership is because BYD is bonkers big. It's massive, a massive company. And to a lot of people in the UK, Australia, and the US, they hardly even know that it exists. A lot of people don't know. It's a massive company. They sold 1.85 million vehicles last year, which is a lot. And if you look at how many uh, Tesla sold, 1.3 million last year. Um, however, BYD sold only 911,000 of that 1.85 as pure EVs. But the, the other rest were like petrols and hybrids, for example. Uh, so last year, they sold 911 pure EVs out of the 1.85 million. Tesla sold 1.3 million EVs. So BYD are a bonkers big company. And they actually have shown themselves to be a very safe bet as far as potential uh, collaborative partners are concerned. This is why BYD are now selling batteries to Tesla. They have the capacity and the quality control that Tesla expect. And it's, it's pretty clear when you look at the quality of their cars. Also, they do sell their motors and batteries and their motor controllers to Toyota since April 2021 when they signed an agreement between the two companies. Uh, so I know I've talked about the BYD quality, but I have really stared at the underside and the various bolts and driven them. And they are comparable to other cars currently on the spectrum of normal quality. So equally, if not more important than the look and feel of the car, of course, uh, from any manufacturer for any sort of vehicle. And how they are built and how have they, have they been built to last? So thank you very much to the people that have joined on Buy Me A Coffee or Patreon or YouTube memberships. Links to these will be in the description below. And it's about $3 on all of those. The cheapest and easiest way to help is by pressing the like button for me. And also remember to subscribe and click the notification bell next to the subscribe button so that YouTube knows to show you my videos. And I make videos every single day about the, the you know news from the EV world about EVs.